uh, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that first sort of little unboxing there. Um, I don't know if I spoke in that video, but I'm sure you can imagine uh, what this video is about. Um, so today I'm going to be test driving the new pressure washing setup that I got from Spinnaclean. Um, I'm doing some Indian sandstone patio today. Um, it's not the dirtiest in the world, um, but it's basically getting it cleaned, ready to be sealed very soon. It was only put down, um, I think it was a year ago now, um, or coming up to a year at least. Yeah, I'll show you the patio and I'll show you the rig as well. Right then, so this is what we're working with today, especially in the damp areas, um, it's got pretty dirty. Um, now it's nothing on sort of the usual driveways and patios that I do that are absolutely minging that haven't been done in many years um, but it's definitely due for a clean um, and it's a nice sort of straightforward simple job for me to test drive all the new equipment I've got uh, and speaking of let me show you so I've just spent the last half an hour setting everything up um, everything seems to be in working order I haven't fired her up yet um, but yeah so this is the machine so um, I've got my 10 meter hose coming out. They did send me another 10 meters, which I can connect onto that. Um, and then you've got the big fat hose here running in, um, which is drawing the water. That's the filter on the end of it there. So that's drawing the water out of this wheelie bin setup that I've got going. Um, and then the skinnier hose, um, which comes from the top one there. And um, that's the return valve. So, so thanks to Steve from Kent Property Cleaning, because I must not have been listening on my training day because I completely forgot what that did. I was like, do I put that on, do I not? So that's basically what that means is um, when I'm not pressing the trigger down, um, any water that's not being used gets returned back to the tank instead of sort of trying to force itself through the machine. I think, I think that's how he explained it. Um, it's basically so you're not wasting water and the machine's not gonna go bang. Um, yeah, anyway, so here we have, this is the flat surface cleaner. Now I'm not getting this out straight away. Um, what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna cut through the edges um, and cut in on the job and get all of the grime around the edges where the flat surface cleaner can't really get to that well um, with a lance um, and then I'll pop the flat surface cleaner on and clean the rest of this and it should come up absolutely amazing. All right, speaking of lances actually, um, I've grabbed out the van. Please ignore the state of the van. Oh my days, I'm so sorry. I'm doing it such a disservice at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm waiting. I'm gonna get some new flooring put down in it, get it all sign written and then, um, yeah, then we're good to go and I'll do a really nice van set up and get it all looking spick and span. This thing here, um, this is, will be on quite low today. This is the sort of pressure valve on it. So I can twist that to all the way to the left and then that'll be really low pressure or I can have it all the way up to the right and that would be sort of maximum pressure um, and maximum power for the machine. Again, I'm hoping that I'm getting that all correct. Um, and yeah, just before I begin, um, I'd just like to give a shout out to Gary from GD and Son. Um, he gave me a shout out um, on his last video um, and a few of you may have come over from him. Um, he's got, I think he's approaching 7,000 subscribers um, and he's a really nice bloke. He basically does uh, scrapping, waste removal. We started doing pressure washing. He's looking into roof cleaning. So similar stuff that I'm doing really, um, they all really start cracking on with now. So go check out his channel. I'll pop the link um, in the description down below. Um, but yeah, without further ado, without me talking too much and boring you all, um, I'll get cleaning. Nice one.
other folks that is the patio cleaned now unfortunately there has been some issues on this job um, and I would like to say it's no fault of the machines um, yeah we already knew this was a problem anyway I do actually know this customer um, he's part of the family um, there's some weird stains that have gone on um, now I'm gonna do a bit of research and figure out how to get rid of these um, because well I mean if you look very closely you'll see slight rings in all of this because the people who laid this patio, um, well, they had some problems laying it in the first place anyway. They didn't do the best job, so I've heard. Um, and some have had to be replaced already. I mean, this is only a year old, if that. Um, now, if I can try and show you where you'll be able to see. All right, I don't know if that's picking that up. Can you all see that? Right, sorry, I was recording in super wide then, so that might not have uh, picked it up. Here we go, better example over here. Now, all of this, anyone know what that is? Any guesses? That is a Karcher turbo nozzle. See the size of the ring is about that big. Um, basically after they uh, laid these stones, um, there's probably a lot of dirt and you know mortar, whatever they used beneath this, um, you know, to seal all this stuff in. Um, there was a lot of that that was uh, probably stuck to the stones, I'm guessing. So they've used a turbo nozzle on sandstone, no. And yeah, tried to get it off. I mean, they've etched the stone in my opinion. Um, you can see it's all around here, um, which is a shame because it, I mean, apart from that, it's coming up really nice. Um, even this is one thing I'm confused about because even this, now you think, man, that's algae, just strip that off. And now everyone knows if you do this job, if you see green, it comes off easy, no matter what the surface. Um, if it's algae or anything like that, it just literally, you don't even hardly need any pressure on it. But this stuff is not coming off, it's like it's etched into the, the actual stone. Um, so I'm very confused by it to be honest. Um, there's like rust stains over here, look. So something's been ha something's happened to the people that have laid this. They haven't prepared the surface correctly, um, in my opinion. Now, if anyone knows, I mean, I'm tempted. Shall I blast the hypo out? Um, you know, and give hypo a go on it. Um, but I'm not, you know, an avid user of it. So I'll speak to the customer, see what they think. Um, I mean, look, it doesn't come off. It's it's completely stained. I'll show you what I mean. I'll. I'll uh, I'll, I'll pop you on my head um, and I'll get the fan nozzle out um, and I'll go pretty close up to it, sort of as close as I can without causing any damage um, and you'll see what I mean, it just does not come off. Now I'll come away, hopefully you can hear me. This is a 25 degree tip in here, um, so it's quite a good one. Now, check this green stain out there. No different, exactly the same, does not come off. No different, does not come off. See that? So yeah, quite unfortunate really. I was hoping then when I went really close that it was going to start taking it off and uh, you know that I've maybe I just didn't use enough pressure on it but to me this is stained. Um, I'll assess the hypo situation. What's going on here? I'll assess the hypo situation um, and I can give that a shot I think. Um, it's worth a go on it but to me it's etched and obviously if I got a turbo nozzle like myself yeah I could, I could strip it off but it's also going to strip the top coating of the sandstone off. Um, and we don't want that, do we? So I'll uh, assess some options, see what we can do, um, and go from there. But apart from that, I mean, came okay, pretty nice in my opinion. It can all dry out really nice as well. I'm gonna hang around, have some lunch, and uh, this will dry out really quick, and I'll check it over again once everything's dried, um, and see if there's anything I can do. But um, it's a shame, because there's a lovely color to it as well. Um, but as far as the equipment, uh, absolutely awesome now um, it started up first try um, actually it did start first try it started up second try because I tried to start it nothing happened and I did put enough oil in um, so I topped it finished the top up with oil um, nice full tank of petrol in it started first time time um, as far as the bin situation I've only had this tap I think I've turned the tap off now yeah the taps off now um, but I hadn't even gone below halfway um, it was, it was actually overflowing, so 
at times I think I was using less water than sort of what was coming out of the tap, which is awesome. Um, again, I was on um, a low pressure. This was turned down, turned down quite far. I mean, eh, to be fair, there you go. There's that's so far. I've just turned it there. That's all the way to the lowest pressure, and then there's quite a lot to get all the way to the top one. See what I mean? So to be honest, I was probably about halfway. So there we are. So I was about halfway pressure, which really I started off using a third on it and I was like, you know what, try and get some of these marks off. I'll give halfway a shot. If I see anything starting to etch, then I will uh, take a step back and um, lower the pressure, but I didn't need to, it was coming up fine. But yeah, just showing about the sedans. Right folks, I just did that whole outro, I don't know if I'll put it in, um, for nothing. I actually stayed and I've decided to um, put Hypo down over the patio um, and what a difference. It's not perfect, I didn't think it would get perfect. The green that I was on about um, has remained, um, but I'll turn you around now and show you what I'm on right, about. Then look at that, that is a million, million times better. Um, it's all been rinsed off. I mean, if you remember, I took you to these patches and there was really dark patches. It's still slightly there, um, but it's so minimal um, compared to what it was. Um, and it's got a lovely shine to it now. Uh, yeah, as you can see, all over here. Now, remember this, where the, all the really stubborn turbo marks were? It's still there, as you can see, um, like I thought it would be, but some of the dark staining that was around it isn't as prominent, uh, which is brilliant. So this has been a nice day. That I don't know what the hell that is, but nothing's shifting that. Um, yeah, it's been um, it's come up a million times better than it did um, after just a first initial clean. Um, and bear in mind, I didn't think I'd need Hypo because this stuff's only a year old. I'm uh, actually really chuffed with that now. It's came up so much nicer. What is this stuff here? I might try and blast that again, maybe. Yeah, we'll give that another shot. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, look, it's uh, a thousand times better. And right, this is like a, a day of shout out to something, but a huge, huge shout out to Ben from Floors Cleaning. Um, I'll pop his channel on screen and in the description now. Um, I rang him up while well, I've done some voice messages and I said, mate, can you help me out? I'm struggling on this job. Um, and he was, yeah, straight round. And um, he gave me, well, not straight round, but he got straight back to me. And um, yeah, he gave me all the advice necessary. He said, mate, don't worry about it. Just put the hypo down, blah, blah, blah. Give it a rinse off. Um, and you're laughing. Now, this guy's legit, man. So if anyone wants to watch another pressure washing channel other than mine, what's just up now? The air hose fell out the bin. Um, I'd really recommend um, checking out Ben from Flawless Cleaning. Um, he's a wealth of knowledge. He's really, really smart and he knows his stuff. So, um, yeah, thank you, Ben, for helping me out because you've made you've saved me coming back another day because this job looks brilliant now. Because I was going to pop back in a few days' time um, and just pop some hyper down. I was going to do a few test patches and I was going to be a bit scared about it. Um, and yeah, he just said, mate, don't worry about it. Get it down and look at it now. Beautiful. Sorry for spinning the camera around too much. Um, but yeah, so that is actually it now. So take care. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I'll see you for another video very soon. Cheers.